Force Legacy. This is Jim. You're back here again in the Room of Requirements. And as you can see, I have uh, purchased a few items, a few plants, this T shaped potion table, which makes the three burners on it pretty awesome. Highly, uh, highly recommend it. <laughs> 2000 coin. And this one here is the uh, two large pot uh, herbology or uh, planter table. This was 3,000. But uh, I can basically grow any type of plant out there. It doesn't matter what. Pretty awesome. Really happy about that one. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's take a look at these quests and see what we got. Oh yes, so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do flight test, as I wanted to uh, start that start the episode off with flight test. See how we do. Is uh, on the broom. It's not too bad when you're just cruising along, but uh, it's real it can get real finicky uh, at times, especially if you're going like uh, a little faster and you hit the wrong button, and it's like almost like a 360. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Now let's uh, do flight test. We get that highlighted. And uh, we'll fast travel out the door here because I think we've got to go outside. Yeah. Let's uh, fast travel to uh, outside the courtyard here. I think those are the north doors. Awesome. Person's just over there. Get in their broom. I look the right side. The uh, I don't think we've ever. Uh, I don't think we've came in here yet. Never have. No. Seen it from the outside. Hey, you, Gryffindor. <laughs> hey, what's up, Melda? A Melda raise? I'll be weak, sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still <laughs> tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Huh. That's not what happened. You sound jealous. Yeah. Uh, Seems but... someone's jealous of my skills in a broom. <laughs> Me? Slytherin <laughs> Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Ooh. For some reason, now people think you're competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. All right. What sort of courses are these? Can you tell me more about these courses? <laughs> Stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. Oh, boys. Three <laughs> courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? This is rather fun. Oh, my God. Yeah, that 
Team Kuga in here. <laughs> All right. Missed one. <laughs> oh my god. See what I mean? Like it's it's uh yeah, let's just go this way. No way we're winning. Holy man. So brutal. <laughs> that thing over there. <laughs> Get to rub it Glad in. To see, I'm still the reigning champion. <laughs> but what say you? Want to try again? What say you? She says. All right, let's go Ready again. You are. See if we can get through here without even making a mistake. And like going too crazy, you know? Down. Come on, 
on, baby. Come on. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> Did anyone else see that? Well, I could do it. Anyone can do it. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Now what is she going to tell me? Uh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Uh, <laughs> fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't tell me <laughs> from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not uh. terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Oh, God. One of those. All right. I don't want your respect. <laughs> Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We uh, shall see. Imagine we'll saying the other one. Up. The next place <laughs> near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check Sweet. your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Huh. All right. Turn to the podium to challenge other racers in advance. All right, on. Make your way through the ranks. Awesome. Let's check that out of the map. All right, let's head back to, uh, oh, I was right there. Room racing event. Cool. That's awesome. All right, let's go to, uh, Hogsmeade. We got to meet up with uh, the fella at the, um, Sprint Witch's Sporting Needs. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Probably does. Let's check out that quest update. A flight test. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's go. I never thought someone. Would... All right, we'll just head right over to. Return to Abbey Weeks. What? Oh. Albie. Albie Weeks. Yeah. That's that buddy. <laughs> That's that buddy of the sporting goods place. Yeah. Let's say, wait a minute. What? What a beautiful game, eh? Just amazing. He lived here, I wonder. Right here. We are there. Perfect. <laughs> Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ah, uh, pretty awesome. Flight test. <sighs> Brutal. <laughs> Since I got the broom, I I don't really fly that fast. I just kind of mosey around. <laughs> yeah, there we go. With something to report, I hope. I am. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss <laughs> Rains must have been shocked. <laughs> Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. <laughs> Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Can't wait to hear more. Goodbye. 
Who has doubted Why you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Makes Those sense. People don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flights. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. <laughs> I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. <laughs> All right. See you later, I'm bud. excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. <laughs> I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Awesome. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Right, that's complete now. Flight test complete. Level 17, baby. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's good news, eh? We get a page here. Olivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of wood and a manner of flexibility. He's possessing one of three magical cores. Choose our owners in this cozy. Cluttered shop run by a meable and knowledgeable Gerbolt Olivander. Profession of witchcraft since 382 BC, the Overlander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Huh, interesting. Um, I do want to check out uh, while we're back here in Hogsmeade. And I kind of came across this just the other day um, when I was in uh, Tombs and Scrolls. And uh, then I kind of forgot about it until I came back in here to buy the, uh, the T-shaped potion goodness, table really and the two oh, large holy. Who is she talking to? Listen, I'm trying to Trying to make a video here, will you be quiet? <laughs> Anyways, inside here, there's an eye chest. So I actually had posted <clears throat> a video on eye chests in Hogsmeade, where I used the visibility spell to open them all up. And as we all know by now, the this little eyeball, I don't know what the actual name of them are, I just call them eyeball chests or eye chests in the video. And, uh, Basically, they give you 500 gold coin. So uh, when I was in here the other day, I, f I just reminded myself that there's an eyeball chest in this uh, store. Let's get this field guide first. Enchanted staircase. This enchanted staircase in Tombs and Scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. Proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjugation. Yeah, we already know that. And uh, the book they're talking about is right here. It actually does little cutscenes that force you to look over there. That's cool. I'd like to have one of them for my house. <laughs> like in real life. <laughs> Alright, so that uh, chest that I uh, missed during that episode of uh, Making Money in Hogsmeade. It's just in this room. It's right there. See him? So let's go invisible. Hmm. Yeah, you get 500 gold. Perfect. Rebellion. Awesome. I think that's pretty much it for this house. Uh, kind of saved it, then I forgot about it, and then I remembered it again when I was in here. <laughs> oh, well, that's the brakes, right? All right. Let's uh, get out of here. Right, so that's pretty awesome. So let's uh, save that stuff that we just did. All right. And today is the 20th. So let's uh, do this one here. All right. All right. So let's see what uh, we got here for quests. 
All right, in the shadow of the Undercroft. Probably find Sebastian in his usual spot in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom. Meet Sebastian. Sebastian. Requirement level 8. Rewards. Confringo. All right. Rock and roll. So let's uh, let's do that. Six hundred thirty-nine away. Wow. Let's uh, fast travel over there. To oh Hogwarts, yeah. Say holy. Let's uh, fast travel right to here. Most times, if I was playing the game on my own, I wouldn't fast travel. I would just kind of fly around or go for the purpose of the video there. I just got to uh, use the fast travel a little bit more often. Oh, there's peeves around here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not too sure where he is. Here he is. That's so weird. It's not. Uh, I don't know if we have to wait. Huh. Alright, let's advance time. Usually it would have like a little circle there. Then. So yeah, there it is there. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Get to wait again. <laughs> sure. Oh, there he is there. Right? See, he knew that we were at Hogsmeade. He said, there's no way they're going to get here that fast. <laughs> Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Huh. This way. Right. You lead the way, bud. There's a secret passage just here. Go away. Oh, disguised. Enter the Undercroft. Rebellion. Cool. Oh, that's cool. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I huh? wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But Rebellion. he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Awesome we chess in here, nice. Almost daily. We've never been caught. Huh. Talk to Sebastian. Let's open some chess. <laughs> Probably talk to him first. All right. Red plaid garb. Okay. Let's open up these chests and then we'll check out the gear Rebellion. at the same time. Lots of suits of armor in here, that's pretty cool. Dark plaid fedora. Huh. Fedora, eh? Interesting. Seven. Gold or coin, whatever you want to call it. 
Rebellion. This looks like a door to me, but uh, there's nothing there. Huh. That's it for the chest, so let's uh, check this stuff out. See if any of it, any of it helps us. Right. Increase five defense with this red plaid garb. Well, let's put this on if it helps us. And, uh, you know, whatever helps their character. Now, you can't see it because I have the change the appearance to this uh, suit of armor. That's why there was no physical change that you saw, or vis visual change that you saw on the uh, screen. And that fedora, of course, is a little, uh, yeah, greatly uh, not good because this is the one I'm, I have on changing to appearance to this goblin helmet here that I have. All right. Not too bad. Something I can sell. Alright, let's uh, check out this quest here. Wonder how Ominous found this place. Let's see what Sebastian says. Alright. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. Huh. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never huh. heard anyone else speak of it. I've <laughs> certainly never seen anyone else here. Again. Mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway... The Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Huh. Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. That's ridiculous. That does sound dangerous. Oh, it's ridiculous, man. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. That's My right. Exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Awesome. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh, Confringo. Cool. You're getting it. New Ready spell unlocked. Out? Yeah, I do. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Okay. Those candelabras. This guy. Right there. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find. That Actually, Confringo let's uh, check that out again. Confringo. Damage. Long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with the fire base attack. Continue to take damage for a few seconds. Oh boys. During which time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. Oh wow. I like that. Farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Explosive blast. Hm. Certain talents can alter this effect on enemies. Alright. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad cool. You'll get used <laughs> to it. A tad. That's it. Yeah. I think I've got it. Well 
Oh yeah. Sweet, you see like the little embers on the uh, floor here. All right, buddy. I have to say, I enjoyed that. <laughs> the first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Huh. It's almost too much. I'm ready more for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Oh, yeah. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. <laughs> well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? Huh. To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Convoluted? What? <laughs> Tell you the truth, I'm not ready to tell you everything. You must promise to keep this between us. I tell trust someone. you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. Sounds good. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend yeah, time yeah. here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Sounds good, buddy. Perfect. Leave the Undercroft, okay? No I saying that, that's weird. Huh. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Sebastian showed me. I stumbled across it. Rooms called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. <laughs> no one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. My father. I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Promise not to say anything. No need for threats. <laughs> Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. 
I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous. Jeez. Man, I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Pretty Sebastian rough, but going to get an earful about this. Let's relax there, bud. <laughs> in the shadow of the Undercroft. Pretty cool. 260 XP for that. Wow. Sweet. Right. Let's check out the uh, quest page here. It's got cross ones. Round three. Oh, boys. That's what's left. <laughs> oh, if you watched that episode, uh, it was a huge fail. Huge fail. <laughs> oh, my lord. Um, let's check out those uh, read mail. Come and see me as soon as you can. Perfect. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. <laughs> Oh, Professor Fig there. Just about to say, let's check the L post and see, uh, see if anything else pops up here. I don't think there will be, but, uh... Alright, that's that one. Oh, yes. We completed that one. Yes, I did that one already as well. Yeah, okay, so we're all caught up with these. I would assume they would have always end up in this uh, quest uh, side, but it's always good to check. Map chamber. Now that Professor Fig has returned, I'm excited to show him missing pages and the secret map chamber I found below the school. Report back to Professor Fig. Level 10, that's quite the jump. Uh, required. All right. I think we might leave that for uh, another episode. Just because uh, we're getting close to 40 minutes. So if I start that one, I don't want to get into other things. And the next thing you know, it's like, you know, hour and a half long episode. So we'll just hold it off there. It's pressed, not too bad. Oh. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Oh, cool. Something from uh, Professor Garlic. Let's see, uh, see that one. Professor Garlic's assignment one. Right on. Acquire and use the venomous tentacula. I think we got one of those. Acquire and use the mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. All right. So the Venomous Tentacula, I got some of that. Uh, Mandrake, um, I don't know what that is. So let's check our inventory here real quick. I don't know if it'll show up here or not. No. I thought I had, uh, that is so weird. I just swore I had, um, Venomous Tentacula, but, uh, because we can get that right from the greenhouse, right? So, yeah, we'll have to take a, we'll take a look at this one here, and we we'll talk to Professor Fig maybe next episode. Okay, cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.